going on? Rob Fish here again with BikeBandit.com. Appreciate you joining us today, bringing you up to speed on this sweet little piece of apparel. You know Speedy, Italian apparel company, and XPD is their, basically their boot division. Uh, what we have here, this is the X1 WRS. Quick little 360 for you. pretty slick. It is not a full height boot. You notice it's basically missing the shin plate, the hard shin plate and the full race collar, if you will. Other than that, it's pretty much a race mentality boot standing about 10 inches tall. So that is the only color option. Hope you like red, white, and black. A lot of features to it. Your main body of the boot. I'll give you a quick top view there as well. Oh, uh, and a bottom view because that's an important feature right there. You know, let's just start with that. Skywalk actually is a company that, what do they do? They just make soles and XPD via Speedy outsource the sole. Why? Because it is a textured grip, yet it is totally unfazed by hot weather, cold weather. You'll get the same grip on the pegs, on the ground, when you go to put your foot down in the intersections, etc. you'll get the same exact feeling. So you get a very consistent placement of that foot. Main body of the boot, again, it's going to be a microfiber, essentially a lorica material, fully perforated. Make sure you catch that up on top there. And mesh accordion panels on the front. Coming to the back side, again, perforated microfiber, lorica. And on the inside of the boot, yes, you get stickers. However, Inside of the boot, it's going to be basically suede. So you get great grip on your rear sets, on your heel plates, etc. Fantastic boot. A lot of good features to it. Everything is going to be double stitched on that. You have, I think it's pretty classy looking. I love the contrast of the red, white, black. And all the stitching is contrasting. I shouldn't say all because there's some white stitching on the white Lorica and there's black stitching that's actually done on the black suede. But I think it looks pretty darn attractive where if you actually look on all the plastic guards, that red stitching, pretty slick. Again, you do have a good amount of armor on this boot. You have, since it's a vented boot, you have two huge exhaust vents done inside that polyurethane heel cup coming around. On your malleolus, basically the uh, external ankle bone, that is a much harder material. This has got a little bit of a little bit of give to it. It's kind of I don't want to say pliable because it makes it sound like it's not a reinforced heel cup or a reinforced toe box underneath that shifter pad. But again, that's going to be a little bit more stout. Again, in case of use, you actually have something a little bit harder to slide on. Again, <clears throat> super slick, double stitched. Stainless steel on your toe slider. Let's jump to the closure system, which is going to be a good size Velcro panel and a full length zipper up onto the collar of the boot. YKK zippers all the way through. This is kind of a rubberized, rubberized collar around there. But as you jump on the inside, 3D mesh, that's going to be obviously antimicrobial, so you don't get that stink, that funkiness uh, on lesser quality liners. Again, even that inside gusset is done in cowhide. Super, super slick boot, really lightweight. I'm digging the color options. I've already said that, but I'm a red, white, black kind of guy. That, my friends, is the X1 WRS riding shoe from XPD. If you've got questions in regards to anything, sizing, we put up the chart here for you. But let's say you still want to talk to the support guys. Click on the tab. Done that for you too. Pick up the phone and call us. Send us an email. Whatever is easiest for you. We at BikeBandit.com, we love you. So you should like us on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and Instagram. Again, Rob Fish for BikeBandit.com saying thanks for joining us, and we'll see you soon.